All right, guys, so Nick Ferrari's about to call me. Nick Ferrari, uh, he's one of the commentators on a channel called LBC Radio, and he's about to call me about this atrocity where live cubs, live fox cubs, were fed to a hound. Now, the last interaction me and Nick had was quite heated, a quite a heated exchange about DXE. I was on my Europe tour. The last day, I was very wound up, you know, underslept and kind of came across maybe a little bit abrasive towards him. Don't invade a restaurant. It's simply not fair. Oh, do you want to talk about fairness and justice? It's not fair that we subjugate the most innocent beings on earth. That's not fair. Why are we doing it to them for? Why are you participating in this slaughter? But this is a very interesting topic and we'll see what goes down. Oh my God, here they are. They're calling now. So we'll just get on the call and see what they've got to say. How come a senior huntsman and his partner who fed live fox cubs to dogs have avoid jail, avoided jail? Paul Oliver is 40. He was the master of hounds at South Herefordshire Hunt. He took the animals into the dogs before their carcasses were found dumped in a wheelie bin at the Hunt's kennels. He and Hannah Rose, a kennel maid, denied causing unnecessary suffering to protected animal. Both were found guilty after a trial that's taken a week at Birmingham Magistrates Court. But as I've said earlier... They were spared jail, which is perhaps surprising. He was given a 16-week prison sentence suspended for a year, while Rose, a 12-week sentence suspended for a year, they were ordered to pay £415. Joey Carbstrong is an animal rights activist. This, to me, seems extraordinarily lenient. You are, of course, you and your colleagues work in this. Is this the sort of sentences that courts normally hand down? Good morning. How you going, Nick? Um... I'm not too familiar with any of the sort of live baiting when it comes to fox hunting, but um, I think this highlights a wider issue of how we view some animals as lesser than, and I think it's a cultural issue. It's like with hunting, they feel that foxes are pests and they're less superior to their hounds, and, and they've just been conditioned to, to, to view these animals as so far lesser than that it's fine for them to uh, sort of feed these live foxes cubs. to their dogs. Why do they do it? Why is it necessary to feed fox cubs to these dogs, to, to the hounds? I don't, I don't ha I think it's completely unnecessary. I think fox hunting generally is unnecessary. No, no, I'm sorry, you've misinterpreted the question. Why do they feel it's necessary? What, is it that the hounds don't attack unless they're sort of uh, tempted into its puppets? <sighs> they, could be, they could be doing that, baiting them and getting, giving them the taste of the foxes and the smell of the foxes and, you know, sort of rowling them up and giving them that taste for blood. I don't know what sort of sick motivation they have for such an unnecessary sport. This unnecessary suffering charge that they've charged these two with... There's so much unnecessary suffering towards animals in society, and it's all due to the way we view different species as lesser than. And this is uh, this this particular uh, subject here highlights that. Joey Carlstrom, you're an animal rights activist. Uh, while I, and I'm going to say quite openly, I'm no fan. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks for your time. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Goodbye. We had limited time there. There were some many, there were many things I wanted to cover there, but what happened is they were live baiting these fox cubs to hounds, and I guess to give them the taste of the... I, I don't really know too much about why they would do that, why they would do something so sick, but what I was trying to highlight is that there's a wider problem here with speciesism. We've got two animals that are inherently the same, foxes and dogs, okay? But hunters, they've been culturally conditioned to see foxes as pests and hounds as their sort of comrades. I remember, like, me and Nick had it out. We had it out. And I got to the point with talking about pigs in gas chambers and, like, what about these pigs, you know? And I remember vividly his heartless statement. Um, it's just a pig. Bolt gunned in the skull and slashed across the throat because you like the taste of their flesh. What did they ever do to you? It's a pig? Who cares? What, what, what does that mean? It's a dog. It's a dog. It wouldn't be around otherwise. It would not. And... This is exactly what's going on in society. They're just foxes, you know? It's just a chicken. We've got baby piglets killed with blunt, blunt force trauma. Six month old pigs being gas chambered. 42 day old chickens, little baby chickens in their mind, just grown, selectively bred and just overgrown, you know, broken legs, can't even suspend their own body weight. They're just hung up, they're, they're kept in absolute tragic conditions. And if not, they're, they're, they're treated like products because we view animals as lesser than. Uh, bobby calves stolen from mothers in the dairy industry, uh, sh you know, bolt gunned in the skull, shot in the head with a rifle here in the UK. I mean, we're talking about 
fox cubs, right, being dumped in a bin. I was out here in, in the UK, a UK dairy farm. Opened up the bin. What was in there? Two dead uh, calves and two dead pheasants, you know, on a dairy farm. So exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. But the same society who are outraged with the fact that they're, they're feeding these live cubs, fox cubs, to these hounds are the same society that pay for other animals, baby animals, to be abused and they cause unnecessary suffering with their food choices, with their lifestyle choices, in all other aspects of their life. But this issue, I guarantee you, will, will cause outrage to those same good-hearted people who pay for animal abuse and unnecessary suffering every single day, three times a day, four times a day, in, in every single other aspect of their lifestyle. So whether that's food, clothing, entertainment, animal testing, all the animals that are used for non-vegan products, it's causing unnecessary suffering. Unnecessary suffering. Look, this is, this is what they said. Delivering her verdicts, the judge said, video clips recorded at the Hunt's kennels by anti-hunting activists using covert cameras, they speak for themselves. They speak for themselves. This is this is what they've been charged with. Julie Elmore, uh, Paul Reese, admitted two counts of causing unnecessary suffering before the trial. Unnecessary suffering. They got charged with these two, and they didn't they didn't go to jail. Which you know, like I understand where this mentality towards animals stems from, and it's a, the same place that Nick Ferrari's mentality towards animals stems from when he said it's just a pig, it's just a pig. You know, that's what we have to unravel that's what we have to treat is this sick mentality we have towards different species of animals and it's all cultural conditioning now should they be punished hell yeah they should have gone to jail should every person who causes unnecessary suffering to animals be punished yes they should but i also think they should be educated they need to be educated Okay, and this is what we do with our vegan advocacy. We have to educate people because they're brought up in a sick, violent culture, a sick, violent society. So let's just check out the age of these two. So we've got Julie at 55 and Paul at 48. Now, I guarantee you, they've been conditioned since they were toddlers to view these animals differently. If they're brought up into this hunting society, they're, 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 they view chickens as food, foxes as pests, hounds as their friends, okay? Dogs as their friends. This is all the speciesism that's been indoctrinated into them at a young age. This is the problem. It's inherent in society and that's what we have to treat. Sending people to jail just deals with the symptom. Educating people deals with the cause. It's a dog. They breed dogs in Newland for meat too. Is that moral? But, but that, that is illegal in this country, to my knowledge. That's got nothing to do with morality. Illeg legality and morality are two different things. Let me ask you this.